Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the domain and range and sketch the graph of the function h of x is equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared. So in looking for the graph of this function, it might not be immediately clear of how we would find this, right? You might know the graph of the square root of x or the graph of x squared of x, but you, not know, you might not know how they come together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a form of a function that looks completely different and we're going to connect it to h of x. So if we take the equation of a circle, that's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. This is the formula, the equation, for a circle with center hk and radius r. And what we're going to do is we're going to set the center of the circle to 0, 0, and the radius of the circle to 2. This is going to give us x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 2 squared, or x minus 0 squared is just x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. And we're looking to graph this function, so we're going to get y all on its own. So we subtract x squared from both sides. These cancel, and we're left with y squared is equal to 4 minus x squared, taking the square root to get y on its own square root of y squared is just y is equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared. So you can see how this is equivalent to the graph of h of x. So when we're graphing this, we would have the equation of the circle, center is 0, and radius 2. So 2 in every direction, just like this. We start to draw the circle, we actually have to stop here. Why is that? Why are these not exactly the same? Because when you're taking the square root of y squared, you don't know whether y is positive or negative. However, the square root of something will always be positive. So this is actually y is equal to positive or negative, the square root of 4 minus x squared. This is the equation of the circle. We are only dealing with the positive part, so we have half of a circle. And now the domain and range is really easy. This is why I did the graph first, because we can just look at it and say, okay, the domain is all of the x values that the function can take. Going from left to right, we start at negative 2. We can take all these values up to positive 2. So we have negative 2 to 2 inclusive. And the range, this is our lowest value at y equals 0. Our highest value is y equals 2. So it's from 0 to 2, once again, inclusive, so we do the brackets. So this is the graph, the domain, and the range of h of x is equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared.